All right. Uh, today, I'm taking a break from Servant and Reuse, and we're talking about Servant Coins. Uh, I just want to, like, frame where I'm coming from uh, before I actually start getting into the nitty gritty of this. Uh, I'm someone that pretty much is only using uh, or having characters get to certain uh, bond levels so they can unlock append skills. Uh, unlocking bond 10 isn't the end all be all for me, or it will be, but just it, we're nowhere close there. Right now, I only care about my five stars being able to unlock their pens uh, my and my four stars actually being able to farm well. Uh, permanents get the short end of the stick and limited because they're limited. They have a little more wee leeway, but not by that much. So th again, also, this only applies to JP. We don't know when they're going uh, when or if they're going to move this forward ahead of time even though something like this would be it's both something that should and shouldn't be brought forward just because it being brought forward means uh ninth anniversary doesn't have a meta shift and like ninth anniversary will be more boring for na they'd have to bring something else forward ahead of time uh even though like one of the defining features of ninth anniversary is like actual pity like unlimited pity for a banner um but yeah pissed a lot of people off by making it so we had to get 240 more servant coins i did do sheets to show how many copies of a servant you would actually need um to fully max them out this is permanent four stars 24 copies to have the ability, the chance to 120, um, to 120 and unlock all the pens. You'd need 24 copies worth of serving coins and bond 15. I'm gonna bring this down just to show how many more you need without bond level. Oh, too much. My bad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You would need 29 copies at bond six to unlock, like, to unlock 120 in all the pens for permanence. 29 copies. It's really, it really is 30 copies without having a bond level. That is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Like you look at any other game, they will laugh your ass off if you said you needed that many copies. Permanence, uh, or sorry, limited. Significantly better. The two extra, the 20 per copy that you get for uh, limiteds made so much of a fucking difference. Put into the same scenario, I had 24 for permanence here it's only 15 and you go way over uh yeah you go way over i, just, I had to double check the math something in my head went off but i'm not wrong this is a lot 15 copies is still a lot at bond for um bond 15 uh mp5 you get uh, you before you could get one a pen and level 120 and in order to not need beyond bond six sixteen seventeen eighteen eighteen copies just to get 120 in all the pens without having to go into bond 15. And the one I'm most familiar and a lot of people are more familiar with. We have the five stars. Bond six MP1 is probably the one I have gone to the most. But as you can see here, uh, you would have to go to Bond 14 
to be able to get a second pen if you only got one copy. For five stars, you it wasn't even possible to 120, even if you wanted to. It was it's literally impossible. Or was literally impossible. Bond two bond uh, MP2 bond nine was when you got a second pen. And for MP3, you would need to go to Bond 11, Bond 4, Bond 9, uh, MP4. I have it listed over here, like breakpoints, uh, one a pen plus uh, 120. So like looking at these numbers is what where I'm kind of looking for. Um, here mp uh 660 uh 120 and three pens but that was for bond six even bond five before you were not able to even get three pens and 120 for bond five you were short 30 coins so all of this it wasn't that bad but the fact that you did need you like before like even for three of pens and 120, which that's what we had before, it was still impossible for you to get at MP5. I'm gonna say something about the serving coins, especially with them being able to be turned off or you being able to switch them on and off again. You do not need all of the pens unlocked at once. At most, you'll probably ever need five or four, sorry. At most, you'll probably ever need four. Why am I saying this? Remember what the third pen actually is for a character. Oh, shoot. Remember what this is and how much it actually comes into play. How often are you going to bring a character like Jinniko to fight Lancers? Probably not that often. How often do you need skill reloading? That's pretty helpful most of the time. It's like the only times that this doesn't help is weird uh, skill cooldowns where like you're not using double vich isn't gonna help how often do you need mana loading pretty often because it helps you with farming it makes it so like you're not penalized for not having this unlocked when you just start an event like if you have a 30 percent ce you don't have to suddenly change your comp and bring another servant that can give a battery you unlock this and then you're good to go extra attack only if someone is doing an extra attack can you do that every fight yes are you going to do it every fight probably not these two only apply at the start of the battle but at the same time the two that are always always going to come into play even if it changes how you have to uh, set up your team these two are always going to help you these three are always conditional so with them giving us an extra 240 are we even going to need for like for some characters are they even going to need that many serving coins that would be 540 serving coins uh to get like just those two and uh 120 which for a lot of people for a lot of characters that's kind of all they do need like if they're not going to be if they're an mp spammer and they're rarely ever doing an extra attack do you need extra attack unlock Back when we only had three of pens, I would recommend getting extra attack just because it would work every single fight beyond the first uh, for beyond the first MP or first turn. Now, with how much people like to do like min turns and stuff, like extra attacks, if it doesn't have to do with farming, then you don't need it. Even for farming, like you rarely will need the extra attack which as much as I like it for solo servants. And again, that's the exception. That's why I'm saying um, it depends on the servant and it depends on what you're using them for. If you are bringing them to fight a Lancer, then yes, having this unlocked makes sense. If they're also a solo servant fighting a Lancer for some reason, makes sense. Probably biggest example, Hokusai. This is one of the servants that actually has a legitimate reason for unlocking every single pen. The extra attack, maybe not so much anymore. But these four, 
Ogusai is a crit servant. Extra crit damage would just be nice. She has full class advantage against Berserkers. Having this would be nice. 30 battery. Having this would be nice. Skill re cooldown reduction. If she's being used with Tomo, awesome. And also like relatively low cooldowns, like four or five and six. Like, it would make sense for Hokusai to have all four of these except extra attack. Because more likely than not, you're going to be spamming arc chains. And she's not going to have that many chances to do an extra attack. Also, that's hard RNG. Uh, she only puts the defense down on Earth's cards, not all her cards. That That's where the dis, uh, difference with Servant Coins comes into play. Some Servants actually do want more than just two. It helps with their gameplay. But for the majority of Servants, Berserkers, for example, they do not need their third of pen. Their third of pen will rarely help them out. So I just... Now that I got like all that background information out of the way, let's get to speculating. So this is the example I'm making. This is not what they're going to do, or at least this is not what they said they're going to do. This is kind of what I think they're going to do. I think they're going to make an extra 10 servant coins for bond seven, eight, nine, and 10. They said specifically, that the increase in servant coins is going to happen after bond seven so me keeping this chart here this is never going to change this or i can't say it's never going to change but this part is not changing on the first copy of a five star you get bond six is when you'll get the first pet not going to change no no matter what other stuff you're doing you're still going to need to get here but adding another 240 makes a huge huge difference at bond 15 or 14 instead of unlocking only one append you could unlock two uh you can unlock uh an extra one hang on wait should be two ten difference oh yeah no, no no okay yeah that makes sense and again this is all speculation these numbers are not exact uh they'll probably have it in a way that's like a little more friendly to unlocking stuff but yeah like i have like huge jumps in serving points here um like even adding 40 to every uh bond level after 11 that's basically half an append for every two bond levels I think that's far more balanced than how, how it is right now. But again, let's look at some points. Yep. So as you can see, I kind of marked on MP1 uh, where you like what bond level you would actually unlock the append. Um, one thing to note, me personally, I don't feel like servants should be going for 120 if they're only if they don't have appends. If you don't have mana loading, especially before, like when they were adding a lot of 30 batteries, if you didn't have mana loading, your farming was screwed. You would have to go to the next point in bond level farming, or you would have to use a weaker CE, which would result in less damage and more inconsistencies with your farming. Uh, unlocking mana loading is like a consistency thing where instead of having to use K-Scope, you're able to use cranking. It's why like I put such value on it because it means when I farm with them, they're farming the best way they can at that point. So Bond MP1, I, for the most part, I would prioritize it over trying to do 120. Bond 2, we have a bit of a difference. Automatically, you have a, like one append unlocked uh, uh, bond eight before it was bond nine that you unlock the second append with them adding more coins in this scenario you would be able to unlock it a bond level earlier at bond eight now if they decide to make the servant coins like consistent across bond seven to bond 15 then this whole scenario is going to go down a lot more 
uh like say you get 30 coins per bond level which i don't think they're gonna do because one two three four five six seven eight nine if they were giving us 270 coins then that would work but because they're only giving us um 240 we have to assume like the first bond seven to nine at, at the very least is going to be lower coin so again 10 per level we're going to get a bond eight on 10 you could 120 but again if you don't have a pens i don't feel you should be going for 120. bond 11 bond uh 13 bond 15. So pretty much the same breakpoints we have at MP1. You're pretty much just getting an append earlier. And last thing to note, at Bond 15 for MP2, you are able to unlock all of the appends. But like I said, you don't need to unlock all the appends. So if you even wanted to unlock three, you would still be 60 short from being able to unlock three appends and 120. Next, let's move on to MP3. Uh, so bond nine, you unlock the your third append and you're able to go to 120. And then pretty much like opposite of here, here now unlocking a pen until here for 480 600 and then here would be a spec yep and i have uh this number colored differently because this is something more realistic that people are gonna go for uh mp3 and then go for a 120. um i think right now this is probably the best option for most servants uh, but again, the more copies you have, the less you have to actually, uh, be farming. Bond four already at, uh, three appends. Bond eight is when you get your, uh, fourth append, or you can go for one append and 120. Uh, four pens here, five appends, and now three appends. Uh, exactly three pens and uh, 120 at this point. So like pretty much after here, like I could keep going on with this, but again, we don't know how they're actually distributing it. And at this point, if you consistently have more than uh, MP4, you don't need me to be telling you how to spend your time in farming. Like, really, after MP3 is really, are you going to get the extra copies? But it does look like MP3 is kind of like the new sweet spot. Um, I, I still think MP2 is, like, awesome. And it's, like, probably the most time invest time and cost investment, like, thank for your buck. Especially now that you have like an option here to do two appends in 120. Like the fact that we're getting like 240 uh, surfing coins just, just makes it easier. At first, I was thinking they should have just made 120 not cost surfing coins, but as you can see here, that's not going to do that much. Nope. That's the pole chart. Yeah, but this is the extreme I really wanted to bring up. Like, really, really wanted to bring up. Bond or MP5 is literally 30 coins off of being able to have the chance of doing a 120 and all appends it's 30 coins off and it's the same here at mp1 or yeah no same thing here at mp1 you could unlock two appends 
and a 120, but you're just 30 coins off. If they, if Lasagna really wants to do a pro consumer move, they will add in an extra 30 to this and make it 270 and not 240. If they do that, you don't need to go for higher than MP5, which I think is far more fair than the game is has been being has been usos are a shit pity system it is garbage any other gacha game would laugh their ass off at it it is horrendous and the fact that you can't even buy a second copy of the unit with usos is a literal joke you can only buy one copy if summer bb goes on read up you buy her with a uso she goes on raid up again you cannot buy her with a uso it is a joke the other solution for this is they make servant coins farmable like even if it's like once a month you get 10 servant coins that can go to any servant you want that would still make a huge different difference for some servants you could distribute those coins every month to uh, various servants that have breakpoints like this that are just short and like you want them to be better, but you also don't want to have to try to summon for another copy because that is money and St. Quartz you have to lose and you have to choose to lose. I'm not going to go as in depth in um, for four stars just because like most people care more about the five stars and they're like you need less copies of a five star and that's where the issue is exacerbated exacerbated with five stars like people care more about getting a 120 gilgamesh than they do a 120 emia like you know what i mean and also like it, again you don't have to summon for them as many 29 copies for it to be reasonable but with the added 240 in order to just get enough for everything 16 copies hey i but be fair let's bring it out and see how many it takes to get to 900 it is a lot i'm not gonna lie Okay, and drag this so I don't have to fill this many. Okay. Right. So, as you can see, because of how this works, how they're only doing Bond 6, it doesn't change how many you would actually need. It truly does not change it. You still would need 29 to hit 900. The difference is over here. You save 13 copies, 13 rare prisms, 13 disappointing spooks, but you have to hit on 15 for a four star. Still not ideal. More realistically, you'd be looking for uh, 900 at on 10. That's still 26 copies. These changes are not to make it so you have to summon less. It's you have to bond farm more. The incentive is that you're getting more characters into higher bond levels, bond 11, 12, up to 15. Limited five stars. You only need to get 10 to have the chance of doing it. Breakpoints are have always been different. Uh, sorry, let me just list, list the common breakpoints as they are right now for these copies. Uh, MP1, Bond 6, MP2, uh, Bond 9 for a second append. Or, no, sorry. MP1, Bond 11, MP2, Bond 9, MP3, Bond 6. These were consistent, so like every four copies, you got an append. Uh, 
Uh, limited five stars. Bond five, you would be able to unlock the append. Um, bond ten for limiteds. Uh, how it is right now, you'd be able to get it at. You'd get one append of bond ten. Uh, thirteen for MP two, and this keep just keeps scaling down. Again, I could go on about talking about all these breakpoints, but really it's just do math and find out how much you're willing to actually bond farm. For me personally, I only care about the five stars. The four stars are just there to fill up space. If I'm being completely honest, unless they are a really good four star, like Summer Reese, that honestly kind of takes a shit on most servants, like raw damage in general. So if you are someone like me on JP, that is constantly like the reason you do your different teams is so that different characters get bond points and you don't have like, you're not running a uh, double bitch over on Mellison for like four years and you're only farming two in the back line. I'd rather have Syrians that I'm trying to get bond level, like they're the ones doing the farming. So instead of two level, two characters or three characters getting bomb points it's like four three four or five these breakpoints matter because it makes the one farmer actually able to do the farming and not have me have to either give up a bond ce or give up a slot so i can like plug suit something how you play the game is how you play the game i just like micromanaging like this uh helps pass the time Helps me keep goals. Oh, messed that up. It helps me keep keep goals, and honestly, it does help me from spending money. If I, because I'm very well aware of all these breakpoints. If I know I have like I'm gonna need two copies out the get go, I'm either I either accept that I have to do that, or I'm just not gonna summon for the character. So. Me do, spending time like on this helps me micromanage my money better. If this at all helped you, uh, hope you enjoyed. This is more of me ranting and me not wanting to make a video about a servant review today. Just how it is. I get tired of it. Um, and double uploads are very exhausting uh, and take away from stream time. All right, I'm gonna get this uh, in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.